official practice too for round nine of A1GP World Cup of Motorsport took place under rather grey skies but the overcast conditions did not deter the drivers from getting out there and seeing what the track was all about. Max Velti in good mood for Team Switzerland. They, of course, could wrap up the championship this weekend, but it depends on others having problems. Team France have a new driver, Frank Montagne, here with his father in support. Team China, of course, looking for great things from Frankie Cheng. Frank Montagne tried very hard in the early laps, and perhaps that was a planned attack to try and see exactly where he could go. Well, a lot of drivers going a little bit too wide in places. That was Adrian Zaug. Neil Yarni of Switzerland locking up the brakes in the early stages of the session, but he did recover well later on. Ireland seemed to be struggling, and Australia's John Martin made this mistake. He came back from that and eventually would set the 18th fastest time. Some drivers are back at Shanghai after success in the past, including Robbie Kerr, winner of the sprint race. Rob Wickens not driving today, having just flown in from Europe. He'll be in the Canadian car on Saturday. Adrian Zaug still pushing hard for South Africa, and Michael Ammermuller also fast, bringing Germany up to fifth place by the end of the session. Jimmy Albi back for Team Lebanon. Khalil Bashir working in the pits to help him. And Adam Kahn taking a shortcut towards the end of the session and then actually running out of fuel to bring the session to an end. So in the final countdown in third place, it was the Czech Republic with Philippe Salacuada. An excellent effort from him. New Zealand was second fastest, courtesy of Johnny Reed. But the fastest time of the day went to Philippe Albuquerque of Team Portugal. They have set the pace on day one.